What's going on, everyone? I'm sure you have heard about this viral video that came out where this woman charged this beta male a convenience fee for rescheduling a date. Don't forget to comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you like the content, and let's get right into it. So for those of you who don't know or you've been living under a rock, there's this guy. I'm going to call him a beta male because that's exactly what he is. He paid $100 to a woman that he is not dating, not sleeping with, not doing anything with. And the woman who did this went viral. So let's dissect this very quickly. So here we have exhibit A. Now I'm going to read to you what it says. It says, my date had to reschedule. I asked for a small inconvenience fee to reschedule. So she asked for a small inconvenience fee to reschedule. I love how he didn't mind, meaning I love how he is a simp. Why would you pay for a woman who you don't even know, that you aren't sleeping with, that you didn't even have intercourse with yet, and you're giving her money? Let's continue. I originally was going to charge $50. But then I realized it's raining, so I factor in the fact that I could have been in the rain. It's the little things like this that keeps you around. No, no, no. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Absolutely not. You weren't in the rain. You didn't even leave the house. So why the hell are you asking for money? If anything, you should be concerned about your date who got his car broken into. But no, no, you're not. You don't care. All you care about is getting money from a beta manual. And this guy is 100% at fault. Because he could have said no. But he didn't. Let's continue. So here's exhibit B. He says, hey, sorry, being having a bad day, someone broke into my car last night trying to go to work this morning and I saw it. So he's already shaken up about his car being broken into. But what does this woman do? She doesn't care. Exhibit C. Now, I want you guys to pay very close attention to Exhibit C. This is what happens when men don't have game. This is exactly what happens. If we can reschedule, please. Are you able to cash at me $50? What do you mean by that? Right there is when that man should have said no. But what does he do? Oh, request it. So you're not even caring that this woman doesn't even want anything to do with you. She just wants your money. And see, these are the same incel beta loser guys who will get on the internet and talk about, oh, women are using me for money. No, you are allowing women to use you for money. That woman asked you for $50 and you could have said no and you didn't. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. So I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any more beta male, loser, MGTOW, none of y'all say anything about a woman using you for money because it's your own fault. You could have said no. You had no backbone. You sent the money anyway. And then she says... I appreciate it. When can we reschedule? But I really need $100, not 50 May I please have $50? 
just dead. So you give a woman $100 of your hard-earned money, 100 bucks. This woman didn't cook for you. She didn't clean for you. She didn't come to your house. She showed zero concern about your well-being, your health, your mental state. She didn't care. All she cared about was your money. Huh? All she cared about was your money. And I guarantee you she's going to take that. She's going to take that $100 and use it for a man that she wants. Because you are not in. I don't want to ever hear a MGTOW or an incel say, women use me for money ever again. Because according to this, according to this, you could have said, no, I'm not giving you $50. Let's reschedule. What a real man would have done is he would have said, you know what? Right now is not a good time. Let's reschedule. I'll text you once I've handled my business. Have a good day. Let's reschedule. I'm going to handle my business. And once that's handled, I'll get back to you with a new date that we can go out and leave it at that. And then if she is saying, can I have $50, I wouldn't have even responded. I would have just kept it moving. But no, the incels and beta males win again. So let this be a lesson. All you incels out there that be talking about women use men for money, cut it out. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.